not only were we able to see the Statue of Liberty, we also caught a Yankees game, thus the hat. Now, amigos, I've been thinking about rotoscoping and I've never liked it until now. And that's because the new version of Mocha Pro 2019 has this amazing feature, this magnetic tool, which makes rotoscoping so much easier that I actually kind of enjoy it, which is awesome. Now I'm collaborating with the people over at Boris FX to create more tutorials on Mocha and some of their other plugins such as Sapphire and Continuum, which I'll be doing in the near future. And part of that collab, they're giving us, you and me, a discount on any of the products, which is cool. So it's 15% off, uno cinco. All that information and the discount code is in the description below. Mocha AE does not have this new feature. It's only available in Mocha Pro, but it's definitely worth an investment if you do a lot of rotoscoping. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, amigos, that life is truly a gift, so make it count. So this is a clip that I shot on our trip to New York City two years ago. We went on this amazing boat ride and had the blessing to get this awesome footage of the Statue of Liberty. Now what we're going to do is we'll be using Mocha Pro's latest tool to rotoscope the Statue of Liberty and put some text behind her. So let's go and click on our footage and let's drag it to the composition icon to make a comp with the same resolution and the same frame rate as our footage. Make sure that your layer is selected. Let's go to Effect, Boris FX, Mocha, and go to Mocha Pro. Now we're going to click on this button to launch Mocha Pro. And this new version of Mocha, Mocha 2019, they change a little bit the interface and I love it. This new look is awesome because it really simplifies it. Now, if you're used to the old version, the old classic interface, you can always switch it. You can go to this drop down and you can switch it to classic and you have a couple more options. But like I mentioned, essentials, they kind of simplify the whole interface and it makes at least your initial tracking a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is Z to zoom in and X for the hand tool to move around are gonna be your two best friends in this process. So Z to zoom in and out and X is to move. I'm gonna make this as big as I can. And the old way of rotoscoping with Mocha was to use the X spline tool or the Bezier tool and to basically just click and create your shape. That was the first step. Now the new version of Mocha has a better tool to do this. I'm gonna delete this. Their new tool is this magnetic tool, which is amazing. All you need to do is really just click once to activate. And all we're going to do is just, just follow the edges and automatically it's going to recognize the edge. So this is like the magnetic tool in Photoshop. Very similar. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to hit X so I can move it. And when you need to force Mocha to add a point, just click. For example, I'm clicking here to force a point. I'm click here to force a point and all I'm doing is just moving my cursor. I'm not even clicking at all. Let me Z to zoom and X for the hand tool. This is pretty amazing. Okay, here's going to get tricky. So I'm going to put a point, click, click. And let's click here to complete this. Perfect. So you see how easy it was? Okay, if we go back to the magnetic tool, they have this option called detail. Now, if you scrub it like a circle, we can decrease it. And as we lower the number, it decreases the amount of points. But you can see for this example, we need to keep it at a very high detail because there aren't too many points. So let's go back up to 95 but if you create a shape and there's way too many you can always dial it down let's keep going back to 95 perfect so what i'm going to do now is just go in and we can always go in and just tweak some of these lines some of these points let's see for example this one we can go here tweak it let's make sure that it's perfect perfectly set up and just do some house cleaning. This one we can push it in so there's a nice little curve. 
for example, this one. So it's rounded. I'm going to make it a little rounded, maybe not this one. So this is just this one. We want a hard edge right here. Just go ahead and you can go ahead and do this step. Take your time. Okay, it's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the classic interface. And the reason why is I want to use this select track max so you can see it. And I'm going to change the color. So let's change the color. And let's call this Lady Liberty. And I'm going to switch back to the essentials. And we're ready to start tracking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the track motion options and we want to track the translation. We want to track the scale, the rotation. Now for the skew and the perspective, you're going to have to experiment, see if it works well. For this example, I think it worked best without the skew. So I'm going to take out the skew and when I'm ready to track, I'm going to click on this button to analyze and track forward. And as you can see, Mocha is analyzing and is doing the tracking automatically for you. So I'm going to fast forward this process. Okay, it's done. Now the only thing is it slipped a little bit, but it doesn't matter. All we're going to do is adjust these points. So we're here at the end. You can see there's a little green diamond. That's a keyframe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this tool right here. And I'm going to grab the set of points and just move it perfectly. Let's zoom in. Let's select these points, move it down, push it in. Down here, let's select these and move it down here. This one, move it. We can move this one. Perfect. And you can see that it created a keyframe. As we're modifying, it created a keyframe for us. You can select these right here, move it. Let's select the head. Select this one and let's go to the hand. Let's move this up. So like this, let's move it here. And that's looking pretty good. Now, this is a tough shot because this is a really small image that we're tracking and the pixels just kind of blend in, but it doesn't look so bad. Let's select this one, select these points, and move it down. Let's move this here. And we're just being, I'm just being a little bit picky right now, but that's all right. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can go halfway, let's go halfway and just check if you need to adjust any of these points, you can always select the points, make an adjustment. It'll automatically add another keyframe. Everything else seems to be good. And what you can do is you can go halfway from here to here from the middle to the end and just check the points, but it looks pretty good. And let's check halfway between the start and the middle, which is around here. And if it needs to, if we need any adjustment, we can make the adjustments, but I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's, let me zoom out and let's play back. So it's looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close it. We don't have to export the tracking data at all, which is pretty awesome. So let's, all we need to do is save the project. Let's close Mocha Pro and let's go here. And what I'm going to do is go to the map and go to view map and where it says visible layers, you can see that this is our layer. We had more than one mat. We can select which mats we want to see, but now for this one, we only have one. So you can only see lady Liberty 
and let's close this and you can also feather it which is pretty cool you can feather this but let's just keep it a, at a low feather one and let's create the mask in after effects so click on this button where it says create ae mask and if we hit m you can see that it created all the keyframes for the mask which is awesome so i'm going to go here back to mocha and just deselect where it says view mat what i'm going to do is go to layer new null object and create a null object let's rename it and call it tracker and what i'm going to do is since we also did the rotoscoping at the same time we did the tracking as well so let's go back to our layer statue of liberty and now let's go to the tracking data tab and what we want to do is go to create track data and we're going to select lady liberty make sure that you have the gear icon selected because this is the layer that we want to generate the tracking data so hit ok and you can see that it changed the values perfect let's go down to export option and we're interested in only the transform. We are not doing a corner pin. We're only interested in transform. So click on transform and it says layer export. Which layer do you want to export this tracking data? Well, we created a null object called tracker. So let's select tracker and hit apply export. So let's go to the tracker, hit U to reveal all the keyframes. And you can see that it created all this tracking data for us, which is perfect. And let's go back to the Statue of Liberty clip. I'm going to make a copy, Control D. And this bottom one, I'm going to call it footage. I'm going to delete the mask and I'm going to delete Mocha Pro. So this one is just a clip by itself. This one is a Statue of Liberty. I'm going to call it Lady Liberty. And we have our tracking data here, our tracker. So I'm going to go to the text tool and type in NYC. And by the way, I'm using this font called Baskerville. And I'm gonna put NYC behind Lady Liberty. You can see since we rotoscope her out, we can put the text behind her, which is really cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay and make a couple copies. Control D, Control D. That is looking pretty good. I'm going to select all these text layers and using the pick whip, I'm going to parent it to the tracker and let's play it back. Let's check it out. So you can see how amazing and how quick is the workflow with the new version of Mocha. You don't have to export it. It's all in the plugin. You can just generate it within the plugin already in After Effects. You can do the tracking data, the mask. It's awesome.